Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board-certified psychiatrist. I want to talk about uh, people pleasers, uh, self-esteem, and doormats. Okay, now there are people who we call people pleasers, and uh, oh, they just go out of their way constantly to please everybody else, to do things for everybody else, and usually they don't take care of themselves. They don't get their own needs met because they're so busy and concerned about taking care of everybody else. It's, it's, a, it's a strong need to take care of everybody else. Now, uh, it's, if you know me, you know that a strong uh, philosophy I have is being of service to others, doing esteemable acts of kindness for others, being a people pleaser in a way. Uh, but uh, the distinction I want to make is that, um, yeah, it, it, you, first of all, you can't please everybody. And you can't uh, do simple acts of kindness uh, to everybody in every opportunity, every situation, because uh, you you would be doing nothing else. It's not possible. You can't, you can't save everybody. You can't help everybody here. You do have to make some decisions and choices. But but also, if you love to be of service to others and please others and help others, that's great. But if it's at the expense of your own uh, of your of getting your own needs met if it's at the expense of your own happiness then you have to ask yourself you know what what are you doing uh, usually people pleasers that there, there's a neurotic uh, component to it there's a self-esteem component to it they become doormats that's when people pleasing being kind being generous being of service to others uh, that's when it becomes dysfunctional when it's so excessive that people take advantage of your good nature and then you become a, a, what, what we call a doormat and that brings a lot of happiness, uh, unhappiness and frustration uh, in, in one's life. Uh, so where does it come from? Where do people pleasers come from? Okay, so uh, pretty much in my opinion, yeah, there's the, the nature nurture concept. Uh, there's, uh, there, you know, there's a genetic component to, to things, uh, but uh, but a big deal is the nurture, is how you're raised, how, how you grow up. So uh, it's, po it's possible that uh, in the early years of people pleasers development, that uh, if uh, they did something that didn't please uh, one of their parents or some or a sibling or whatever, who knows what, and, they, and it was re received, uh, whatever they did, that was the, it was received with anger, with negativity, with harshness, with attack, with judgment, with yelling. Uh, that uh, they learned that it's uh, that, that, that it can be a very hostile, scary place if you displease people. That they're going to come down hard on you. Uh, even those who say that they love you and care about you, they're going to yell at you. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to be sarcastic. They're going to attack you. They're going to call you names. You're stupid. You're inconsiderate. You're sloppy. You're lazy. You're fat. Whatever it might be, and this self-esteem is you know is in the basement. And, uh, and, the, and, and so uh, the peop these, these people learn that the best way to like uh, not have tension in their lives and not to feel bad about themselves is to make sure other people don't feel bad about them. So you do you bend over backwards, you do everything to make sure you don't annoy other people, you don't piss other people off. Uh, and so you go to this extreme. So if you are a people pleaser, if you are a doormat, uh, and you don't want to be, then you have to start recognizing that this is about self-esteem. And this is about deciding that you want, want to be who you are. You want to be your authentic self. And if uh, people don't like you being who you are and saying what you feel and doing what you, what you wish, expressing your, your opinions, if, if they don't like it, you, it's, it's best to try to reach that place where you don't care. Fine, they can think what they want about me. I don't care. I'm a good person. I like myself. I do go out of my way to help other people. I am generous and kind and of service to others. Uh, but if they don't like the fact that I said no to them and they want to be huffy and angry and make them try to make me feel guilty and, and shamed, I'm not going to buy into it. Uh, I know who I am. I'm going to be I'm okay with who I am. And if they go away, fine. I want people in my life who are going to let me be me. We're going to appreciate me, be grateful for what I'm doing for them, and, and, and then vice versa. Okay, that's it for today. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.